Hey everybody, it's Greg and Mark from Better's Delight here, and we're proud to talk to you about our sponsor, Blue Chew. If we're looking to have a little bit of extra confidence when it's time to have fun, BlueChew.com is the place to go. It's a unique online service that delivers the same effective ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but the nice thing about it is it's chewable. I know, Mark, you always struggle taking pills. P- taking pills are not the best part, but uh, you know, Blue Chew's tablets, they help men combat all forms of ED. Besides not being a pill, my other favorite part about Blue Chew is it's an online prescription service. No going to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations. You just got to go online, shop online, and then you get the tablets delivered to your house. It's great. It's discreet. It's awesome. I mean, if you've watched this show even a little bit, you know Mark is the king of awkward conversations. So I can imagine you want to avoid that at all costs, right? I mean, I don't like to talk to people, period. And, you know, I don't like to talk to people about certain things that are private. You know, Blue Chew's great. Sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. Yeah, I mean, that's the one real benefit, not having to go to the store, not having to be in those lines. Everybody works from home now, and why waste your time being out and about when you can do everything from the comfort of your office, or in Mark's case, his basement. <laughs> this, same thing. Office, basement, same thing. But the, another good thing about Blue Chew's tablets, they're made right here in the U.S. of A., so you know they're good quality. Absolutely. So we got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code DELIGHT at checkout. Just pay $5 for the shipping. That's BlueChew.com, promo code DELIGHT, and you can receive that first month free. What is up, everybody? Season 4, episode 14, Better's Delight. Matt knew exactly what was coming. What is up, everybody? <laughs> you're literally the worst. Literally the worst. But I'm glad, I'm glad you're here. A little Thanksgiving Eve recording, getting ready for a giant week of sports. I mean, looking at, looking at BovadaSportsBook.com, fellas, we are... Loaded up in a couple areas, very light in a few others, but we're, we'll get through it. We'll get a ton of picks. Uh, you can see there's just a World Cup fever represented everywhere. Mark Poland letting you down. Yeah, I mean, if you told me before the game that we would get a point, I wouldn't be upset about it, but the missed penalty makes it feel like a loss. Uh, Lewandowski, he's got to get that first World Cup goal. That was a great chance, but I believe he's going to get one. Uh, still repping, so... Yeah, absolutely. Mike, uh, another disappointing penalty for the team that you have on. Yeah, I, that was a dumb dumb penalty by Walker Zimmerman. A little bit unlucky also. Uh, but my guy Tim Weah scored. Uh, I, I, I think we go out there. You just got to just gotta get a point. Or maybe even lose by – even losing by one England isn't even a bad result. But you got to get at least – I think you got to uh, get a point. You got to get a point. You got. But losing by one isn't that bad when it comes to goal differential. I don't know. And then, then you and then you smash Iran. So I don't know. I I don't think we're in a bad spot. But then you're then you're hoping that England plays well against Wales. But I don't like England. Maybe maybe th- technically it'll be through. But I don't think they want Wales to get through. Just like on that. I don't rivalry think they care there. at that point. I, I just think in that rivalry there, I don't think it matters. And Wales stinks. We 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 should have beat them. It was uh, unlucky. And Turner got his hand on the ball. It was a little. It was a bomb of a PK, though. Yep. S- sure wish those PKs went the opposite yeah. way. That's for sure. I mean, for sure. Uh, Matt, I'm sure you wish almost every pick went the opposite way last week. It's been tough, but I also have done the soccer this week. It's been pretty good with watching it. Watched the Poland game as well. That was cool. I was at a bar. Um, the USA game, that was cool as well. Ah, soccer, it's been good. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally like the worst week for Matt and the energy when soccer is the thing he cares about the least on the show. Well, I saw Belgium did good today. They were winning. They were they're up a point. Or, or they got a, they grabbed a point today. Two points. Three. 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 Three, three points. Three. Wait, they you get three for a win, one for a tie? Yeah, correct. correct. Why is it three and not just two? Because a win is two. Yeah. 
A win's better than a tie. Well, it's Dynamite, <laughs> Mark! <laughs> it <laughs> still be better. <laughs> For the 71,000 subscribers out there, win is better than a tie. Don't know what we dynamite drop in there, I Mark. Mean, you, you asked the question, that's why. The win's <laughs> worth three points. A tie is only worth two total. That's what it is. A win is, a win is three times better than a tie. No, it's... It's, yes. Yes. Well, yes. For the, for, well wait, yeah. no, because there's two points in a tie. There's one, one point each in a tie. way. One each way. Two total. Uh, who who counts it? But then there's six in a win. No, there's no, only no, three. No, there's three, 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 each, <laughs> there's three <laughs> each way. No, there's not. There's only one, three going to one team in a win. Did you know there is an <laughs> app nowadays where you can take a picture of an algebra equation and it'll solve it for you? That's been that's been around since I was in in college. All right, well, it's new now, to me. Damn now, it! Now, you know now. how Mike got through college. Now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I switched majors when I did start doing all that math. <laughs> you switched majors? Yeah. <laughs> Why did you say majors? <laughs> because what you is know your major, dude? Peru is the biggest yeah. exporter of blueberries. What? Hey, it's coming with the facts today. Guys like the facty facts in the comments. So we're uh, we're doing all. It's an all facts day here on the facts of life. <laughs> Factors delight. Uh, yeah, everybody likes your your spot on facts. The UCF uh, underclassmen uh, population of two hundred and thirty thousand. I like that. I'm I'm grinding through this episode right now, man. This is a this, I, this is I just took woke up from like an hour and a half nap. This is a this is a grind right here. We, respect to the team for being out here today. You were you were super busy today. I did not uh, run into you driving to the golf course today. So it was, it was a busy day on the golf course. I answered a bunch of work calls. How'd you hit him? Good shot of one hundred and five. Sorry, <laughs> 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 wasn't my best day. It wasn't my nice worst day. day. Wasn't nice didn't lose day any out. balls. Kept finding my ball, you know, with a two colored ball. So that's that's good. You saw it in the air this time. I did. I did. I saw it in the air a bunch. Playing again on Saturday. So getting back, just getting back out there, getting on the horse. This guy, just in playing golf nonstop. Lost yeah, you know, out. it's nice to get out there whenever the the weather's nice, and uh, you know, you get the clubs out there. It's good exercise. I rode in a cart, but <laughs> <laughs> so it's easy. I'm for sure. Well, getting back on the horse, indeed, fellas, back in the positive. This guy right here, Nikki Foles, positive for the season. Uh, thank, just edging out producer Chris, who yeah, wrecks him, giving him the three out of six. Probably should have been more, but uh, keep giving at least somebody on the show uh, a run for the, the first place money there. So I like that. We did do, we did do the tallies of the uh, – the MLB futures, and I'm not gonna lie, it was uh, what? Get it, shut up, Mike. Let me <laughs> set it up. Um, uh, not the best look across the board. Um, me, a hand up. I the fact that I gave out a plus twelve hundred and still finished in the negative is a real problem. That's a bad one. That one's on me. Max Fried got robbed uh, for the Cy Young, so I'm gonna just hold my. Uh, I'm gonna hold that. Uh, Incorrect. Uh, well, listen, he was a finalist at least. Um he was. but Mike, you were you were the big winner with plus four fifth four point five one units. Yeah, not bad. Phil's Phil's really helped me out there with the twelve units. You also gave that. Would have been even better with that thirty units if they would have won the World Series two games away. But uh no, I, for the most part it looks really bad. There's a lot of a lot of red what I had, but I'll take the positive for four and a half units. Uh, for sure. I mean, Matt, I will say, uh, Otani, you had him for MVP and Cy Young, and you were so close to just crushing it. What do you get? I think he came in second in, in both. both of them, yeah. Oh, so I – no, I had second place for both in those future. <laughs> oh. I didn't go first. <laughs> yeah. No. yeah, yeah, it's not – it wasn't a first thing. You guys are crazy. <laughs> Nuts. Why would they uh, offer that? <laughs> So that's the beauty of Bavada, you know. They got everything for you from all your, all your second place needs, you know. So it's it's Philadelphia sports. We get second. USA gets second in their. Uh, hopefully, USA gets second in their in their pool play. You know, you still move on if you get second. I'll take. Second. I know, Mike. That's why I'm saying second. Okay, I'm just uh, six. Is that a USA soccer a jersey? Yeah, that's already that's showing. Cool, man. Off. Is that the new one? Show us the back. Okay. Show us the back. I mean, there's just. 
<laughs> I th- this feels very set up ish. No way. Whose jersey is that? <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Uh, USA Soccer did well, though. Pasolic did good. Who? Pasolic? <laughs> the guy who Pasolich. plays for Chelsea. Number three on Chelsea. <laughs> Number they three. Wear, <laughs> it's weird as they all wear number three on Chelsea. I don't that, get it. That's a good point. They do all wear three on Chelsea. Yeah. That's a good – that is a Who, good joke. Who's their sponsor? I don't know what company that is. Is it 3M? <gasps> is it 3M? <laughs> it I, don't, <laughs> I don't know if it's There's no M there. 3M, but it's a conglomerate, so it could just be the nah. three part of 3M. Yeah, just 50% of it. Is yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I heard South Korean Motorsports Company. Like, Motorsports Company. This motor, yeah. I thought. It's a motorcycle. <laughs> four wheelers. Four wheelers. It's the whole. It's the whole thing. <laughs> four wheelers. F one. John Deere's getting involved. <laughs> uh, always good. Always good to get John Deere in there. He's a good um, guy. Great guy. Uh, but yeah, fellas. I mean, we we. Not the best week on the show with two people in in uh, significant I, I negative. Double. Pick again. It's just yeah. it's always one or two picks that I keep going negative here. It's, I'm right there. I mean, it, Mike, it could right be so much worse if you look at everybody else's numbers. Yes, yes, it it could be us. I, I was I was it. going through the math and I was like, oh my god, Matt had a terrible week and Marks didn't look as bad, and then I did his too, and I was like, Dude, I'm also I'm also two penalty kicks away from having a That's pretty true. good week actually. That's true. A pretty good week probably. That's a good point. Cuz that, that changes I think How does that work? Two penalty kicks away. Well, if if Wales doesn't miss or if the Wales doesn't make it and Poland doesn't miss, if they both go the opposite way, then that's like five wins. So it's probably like yeah. an eight unit, nine unit swing. You go from being like minus 15 <laughs> to like minus, minus five. five. Yeah. I'll take it. Is the it's headline Bale bails out Wales? <laughs> it should have been. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> like I like the, that. The Times Herald just bail bails out Wales. <laughs> <laughs> the local white the, 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 the local white the Tottenham Herald. He hurt the union, uh, then he hurt all of America. Yeah. What do you mean he hurt the union? He beat the union with scoring there, and then they won in PK's. Oh. That was Wait, he, he, bail. he plays in the MLS? Yeah, he yeah. Does. he's like 34 now. He's old, but... He got that Watch PK. yourself. Watch old, yourself. Old for prime sports stars in soccer. How about this that? guy? He's, oh, this guy. Relax. He's still. Relax. He's still worried about going out on Thanksgiving Eve. The rest of us are like, all right, let's all go to sleep. I'll be in bed Relax. once as soon as this recording's <laughs> over. I'm, I'm already too. asleep. <laughs> right to bed after this. Just going through the motions today. Felt really honing it in. Phoning it in. It was definitely it was, definitely phoning it, it in. in. But you are honing in on something as well. What's phonetic spelling? <laughs> That's the one where so, you sound it out, right? Where it's like, yeah, and there's like a, just like, but there's a K there. Yeah, yeah. There's there's right. a lot of there's a lot of going on in terms right. of what you're trying to explain here. Homophones. <laughs> We're, we're You're English. just saying words now. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> what are you doing? We're just I'm doing just grammar. To... We got to do 50 more minutes of this, all right? We got to get it going. We got to get some spots. Symphony. 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 <laughs> I've done, I, I would like to go see the Trans-Siberian Orchestra this Christmas. I've d- dude, I've done it. Yeah, it's awesome. it, looks, it looks like a lot of fun. And I heard they're disbanding. Or no, the Philly Pops no, are disbanding. The Philly Pops are disbanding. Where, Someone... Where do they play? Uh, just like places they that have music. They do a tour. Oh, yeah, oh, oh. like I the, saw him like at the Wells Kendall Fargo Center, Center type thing. Yeah. yeah, more like the Wells it's, Fargo Center. It's like oh, a okay. big light show as well. Oh, yeah, you know the Trans Siberian Orchestra music, like the Christmas music. Yeah, it's like. Oh, God. God. I get it. I get it now. That was far too loud, though. What's it's just how the music what? goes? It's not my fault. I can't. I can't not do that. That's how the music is. That what's is a, how you have to listen to it. What's a Philharmonic? Is that a thing? I think it's I went to high school with that guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's twenty ten. Dude, I think that's the guy right into that one. I really that's the guy did. from Saturday Night Live. Phil, Phil Harmonic. Hartman. Phil Hartman. Yeah. <laughs> Phil Hartmonic. <laughs> Roman Czechmonic, hockey player. <laughs> Bringing it all the way back around to sports and Bovada, which is what we'll do now. Fellas, we have a loaded week in college football. It is oh. rivalry week. There is a ton of games. The biggest of games for 
uh, a certain member of this show, probably the last or second nope. to last nope. of this current coach. Nope. 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 <laughs> well, we'll certainly see, but the rumor mill is turning. You're some random, mill. some <laughs> some random reporter uh, from I think Mississippi State or from Starkville reporting that Lane Kiffin is all but booked to take the gig at Auburn and is going to announce after the Egg Bowl this uh, this uh, Thursday or the day after the I Egg Bowl, think. which would be Friday, which would ruin uh, Thanksgiving. Oh boy, would it! <laughs> um, uh, I guess we could start there, and I'll, I'll let you uh, I'll let you kick it off, Matt. I'll start there. How's that? Give me that Mississippi works. money line minus 130. Mississippi minus two, minus 110. Won the Egg Bowl last year. Uh, going to win it again this year. This is going to set up for a great year next year with Lane Kiffin. is still our coach. He's not going anywhere. Uh, we're going to play Penn State in probably the Outback Bowl, and we're all going to Australia to see it. <laughs> <laughs> i will not be going i will We're, not be going it's, it's uh alumni versus alumni like it's a alum, it's gonna be alumni weekend for us there at the penn state <laughs> uh mississippi mississippi uh outback bring, bowl. The, bring the creamery to the outback bowl creamery <laughs> yeah. will come We're in, in new zealand we're gonna have a great time anyone up for the creamery <laughs> it's right, right next to it they're neighbors I'm double dipping on Ole Miss there too as well though. You're double dipping on Ole Miss with all, all right. that Lane Kiffin stuff and that reporter could have put it out fake news trying to get their head out of the game and all that stuff. That's a low line. I think they should smash them. That was yeah. a low line move, low life move by that guy, Mike. I agree. <laughs> well, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna also double dip on Ole Miss here. <laughs> kind of hate Sorry. this. Greg, I don't, I really hope I mean, Greg doesn't take it. <laughs> I mean, you have to. I think I think it's a it's a coach bump. Final game for the coach. Like they're gonna play Not well for him. They're gonna play. Is, uh, Mississippi State, you know, is Mike Leach leaving? Uh, Robin, you know. Robin Leach is gone. It, it, Robin they, Leach. They, some players might already know, so it's probably through the locker room. So they know this is their last time to play for Coach Kiffin. Yeah, because they're going to the NFL. Or if they you play, play for clean Coach. Enough. He do it for coach bad. and as long as nobody acts like you know they're a dog in the end zone i think that mississippi should should win this game should have won that you're game not wrong too. remember that was Greg, i think was you should ago. make it a podcast double dip special uh i could have but the first picks i wrote down this week it's mississippi state plus two minus 110 and it's mississippi state money line plus 110 on bovada matt might quit the show <laughs> there's too much there's honestly i'm Ole Miss is the better team yeah, However, and better there school. Is, we have better is. academics. <laughs> we have better facilities. We have better colors. We have better jerseys. We have better alumni. We have better donors. Like we like it's just a better university all in general. There is there's just too much surrounding the situation for me to put all of my confidence into them. So uh, I have to go the opposite way here. And it's certainly I don't I don't enjoy doing it. It's not something I I'm. It seems to like you enjoy it. You yeah, definitely enjoy it. enjoy it. You love being the villain. I would ne- I would never. I I definitely I hated all the Villanova gear that you wore last week. <laughs> I was not a fan of Is that. Is it fun always rooting for the antihero, Greg? <laughs> Thank you. It's you. You're, You're the problem. Subject. It's you. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I, listen, my, the emotional I, damage I received when I when I went to YouTube <laughs> last week, MattChromePicks.com, and then it took me to YouTube right right into there. And it's nice because I am also subscribed. So just subscribe. Definitely subscribe. But. I mean, this guy, he, he threw that stuff on me, and it was so emotionally damaging. I cried. I cried <laughs> for a whole day and didn't get an apology text, nothing from Chris. Uh, I'm still waiting on it. Um, Check your if Snapchat. Not, if not my lawyer. <laughs> uh, I think he apologized. <laughs> it, it's in my spam? Case, it's in my spam? Okay. He apologized right. via be real. So yeah. T- you may to you with the wind. They haven't won since. That's a problem. Yeah, I keep but taking them. Be real, so, Ruto. I don't know what's going on. Just <laughs> I, I, I Chris is talking, so no one knows. It's just <laughs> we, need, we are trying to talk, so Chris, all, but not disrupt I, the guy that no one can hear. Like all, <laughs> I, all, I, know is, all, I, all I know is that Chris is spitting. Pure Mississippi State facts uh, and their their uh, dominance in academia over Ole Miss. So, you know, Mac- just disputing Mac- some macadamia disputing nuts. <laughs> 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 academia nuts. Um, 
disputing some of Matt's uh, facts. So, um, but State, regardless, it's an hour and forty five minutes away. It's further south. It's hotter in Mississippi State. It's not. It's not a place people want to be. It's basically that Alabama. Is pro- that's probably true. You're you're probably not wrong there. But uh, they got terrible. It's gonna be a fun game too. Yeah. All right. Well, listen. It's gonna be a fun I, one. The Egg Bowl is always good. It's the only game for college football on Thanksgiving. Uh, should be a very fun kickstart to the weekend. Mike, what's your next one? Yeah, I'm gonna go to the next game. Uh, Texas minus eight and a half, minus one ten over Baylor for Texas. You uh, uh, <laughs> Longhorns. I don't know. Texas. <laughs> I don't know. I was trying to keep going. I don't know. Long Texas horns. <laughs> Texas uh. minus eight and a half against Baylor. Baylor lost an absolute heartbreaker at the end of that TCU game, which was also wild with the. To run on the field with a kick with no timeouts and 17 seconds. It's a hell of a strategy. Buried it. What's the co- I forgot the coach's name, but that was a hell of a play by him. Oh, yeah. I remember because I had TCU minus two. Yeah, they didn't in cover. real life won. units. They, they won. Didn't, they didn't, didn't cover. cover. They won outright. Yeah. Yeah, really, I, really I good weekend. that last week. But <laughs> really good Texas weekend. minus eight and a half. Uh, Baylor, I think, can get is going to get smashed. I'm uh, I'm in that game, but I'm only on the over 55 and a half uh, minus 110 at Bavada. Um, I think there's going to be points in that game yeah. for sure. Uh, Matt, what's your next one? Battle for Ohio. Central Michigan versus Eastern Michigan. Over 54 and a half. It's going to be a high-scoring battle between the two high-powered offenses, the Chippewas versus the other guys. I, I think this is going to be good, and I think they're going to score a lot of points. That running back for Eastern Michigan right now, I think last week he had 600 yards through the air and through the ground. So. I'm pretty excited. I made that up. That's not true. Okay. <laughs> it sounded like a lot, but I was, you know, I'm here to hear the facts guy. Hi. 280 Welcome students at, at UCF. That's it? Only 280? 280,000. We went from a huge estimate to a very low under underestimate. I apologize. But I no problem. Class. You know what I meant. <laughs> Give me your next pick, Mark. Uh, my next pick, I'm actually going to go to the Cincinnati Tulane game. I'm taking the Bearcats here. Uh, minus one, minus 110. Uh, they're at home. They're at home. The, I've been riding, riding the green wave, but I like Cincinnati here. Minus one, minus 110. I'm on Tulane yeah. here. Ooh. Minus 105. The, my mid major whisperer has been telling me about how Tulane can run the football. And I think they can run it down Cincinnati's throat and win that game. Cincinnati's let me down too many times this year for me to get involved in this game. So I'm uh, big rank matchup though in the uh, what is it, AAC? It's the American. I think if Cin- I think the winner goes to the to the championship. I believe I so. The championship. Yeah, yeah they the do. AAC they have, championship. They have the conference championship. It's gonna be exciting when they uh, when the CFP goes to expands to what twelve. They yeah. are going to twelve or just eight. It's twelve. I think if you it's twelve. At, if you looked at the like that 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 bracket, that would it be now? Like, there's a lot of exciting matchups. Yeah, it'd yeah, be cool to see some upsets. Eastern Michigan and, Penn and State a lot of potential game. blowouts. Penn State will never make <laughs> they will never make the top eight. That's fine. They made the top twelve. <laughs> okay, what's wrong with what I said? <laughs> I it's nothing. Good. It's actually yeah, dead on yeah. dead on accurate. Okay, a bunch of guy, a bunch of correctors over here with their red pens out. What did Matt say wrong? What did he say? <laughs> My friggin' English teacher from high school. Oh, English? you misspelled Roman Czechmonic. <laughs> <Daddy. laughs> I'm on uh my next one. I'm in that. I'm in the Florida Florida State game. Uh, I, I I don't res- I don't respect Florida State enough to, to for them to be favored by ten. I'm taking Florida plus ten minus one ten. Uh, give me all the points there for the Gators. Mike, what's your next one? Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with the probably the biggest game of the weekend, other than the Egg Bowl maybe, uh, the, the Michigan game. I'm going to take Michigan. I'm going to double dip on Michigan. Michigan plus 7.5, minus 110, who and Michigan playing? plus 225. They're playing at Say Ohio State. Say who they're playing, Mike. Say at, who they're playing. They're at Ohio State. They're playing Ohio State. Okay. Okay. Um, but Blake Corum is a little bit hurt, but if he's there, I think they can run all over that Ohio State defense. Bully ball. When's that game? Saturday. At noon, right? It's big noon kickoff. Is it big noon kickoff? Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah. That's gross. I'm going to take Ohio State. I'm gonna, give me the Buckeyes. Minus seven and a half. Minus 110. 
they they got Marvin Harrison Jr. Uh, they they um, from the Ohio State University from the Ohio State University. That's usually <laughs> the college thing. But anyway, um, he he's a local kid. Um, also, LaSalle Ohio State went to both. Yeah, the Ohio State lost last year, right in this matchup. So I think yeah. they're coming back for some for some revenge. Uh, they win this game, get to the CFP. I'm on. I'm on the Michigan plus seven and a half with you, Mike minus one ten. Good. Um, it be a close I just think. Game at least, yeah. I think it's going to be close. I think Ohio State wins, but I think Michigan can keep it close. We'll uh, we'll certainly see what happens. The core injury definitely worries. Yeah, this Matt, is what's your... be limited, but we'll see. Limitless, Bradley Cooper. Mm. Great movie. I got source code for the I... way back. <laughs> <laughs> very obscure Office <laughs> reference. <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy Matt. Ground and Pound Kelly would get that. Um, go ahead. I, I I think uh this one's a lock. I'm gonna do a lock of the week. We haven't done a lock of the week in quite some time. This is my lock of the week. Uh, it's one of those locks where you have to put a key in it and have a code. So it's a this one's this one's a locky lock. I'm going LSU minus ten minus one ten over Texas A and M. They're gonna win by forty points and they're gonna jump whoever loses in the Ohio State. Michigan to get into the college football playoff and then lose to Georgia next week Georgia (laughs) yeah but what helps them is the fact that Tennessee got absolutely embarrassed by South Carolina Uh, USC could potentially lose there's a there's a shot here where LSU has two losses and still somehow makes the college football playoff I mean they're ranked above USC right now which is nonsense that'd be wrong for a different day they need to expand what? the playoff. They are. <laughs> the, they need to ban the shift and expand the playoff. The, I do hate the. Uh, you know what? Expand the bases. We all win. They should have oh. just expanded it this year, though. Let's be honest. I think contractually they couldn't. But they're contractual obligations. Obligations. When um, um when is uh college football? What is that? Twenty twenty five. 2024? Something like that. 2024, 2025. We talked about it on uh, You're Wrong and Here's Why. Where can uh, I find that podcast, Greg? You can find it on the Underdog Podcast Network, Matthew. I like that network. YouTube. That's great. It's not on YouTube. You're wrong. No, here's not why. On the not show's on not on YouTube. Is it on MacCrumpicks.com? No. no. You, you only need to see my face on camera once a week. That's, that's how that's, this works. And some would say that's too much. <laughs> it, might, it honestly might be. It honestly might be. Let's be fair. Um, uh, <laughs> Mike, uh, what's your next one? Uh, yeah, I'll take, we'll go with Penn State again, minus 19, minus 110. They've smashed everybody pretty much that wasn't Ohio State or Michigan. Michigan State is horrible. It's at home. Horrible. So, we'll take Penn State. Tom Izzo. Tom Izzo, though, Mike. It's true. Yeah. Tom Man, Izzo is someone to look out for in this match. Have, have, have you guys been watching the Maui Jim Maui Invitational? Dude, I was just <laughs> talking with Mikey Downtown about that. That's the worst name out there. <laughs> Why the Maui Jim Maui Invitational? Yeah, just, uh, yeah. It literally the bucket, the bucket it was fits. Per, it fits perfect. It's great. <laughs> Everyone's wearing Hawaiian <laughs> shirts. Yeah. The best. Yeah, the no, Razorback Hawaiian. The, I'm getting a Razorback Hawaiian shirt, 100. That's a strong. The Creighton, the, the Creighton Hawaiian shirt was also fire. Well, the assistant that, like, coach light blue. had. Yeah, well, the assistant coach had different. Some of the assistant coaches had like white Hawaiian shirts on. Mm. It was they were they with, were like, really the flexible with like the blue on it. Different yeah. options. That's yeah. nice. The they really game's been need, amazing as well. The I'm Arkansas to get coach kind of looks like the coach from uh, Gonzaga. Mark, Mark Few. Few. And Mark Few. You mean the f- the fraud? Sure, but they look like brothers. <laughs> okay, they're they brothers do. in law. They do. Yeah, they, uh, they're bro- in law. They're lawyers. Franklin, <laughs> is, that, is that like a Franklin and Bash they're thing? Lawyers. <laughs> <laughs> um, lawyers. Were they brother in laws in Franklin and Bash? I what? No, no, I watched, have no, no, nobody watched Franklin and Bash. Franklin and Bash. Why don't they? Why don't they make a sitcom where it's like brother brothers in law? So they're brother in laws, but they also practice law. You know what, Matt? Let's get to writing that pilot. All right, see ya, <laughs> <laughs> Mike. I'm also on the Penn State pick, and my I have another pick in another big matchup. UCLA bouncing back, taking on Cal minus ten. Uh, minus one ten. That's an add it to the one. card. Yeah, Cal's been terrible this year, and UCLA loses the heartbreaker to USC. Speaking of uh, USC, 
Uh, I'm on USC minus five against Notre Dame. Uh, the big game for them. They got to keep winning to get in. Uh, you know that LSU is or Georgia is going to lose, but hope, probably LSU. So you got to keep winning. I'm double down yeah. there. I um, have Notre Dame, Mike. Uh, no, 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 no. USC. <laughs> I think USC smashes them at home. Notre Dame needs a quarterback. They don't have that. And I think they smash him. And minus 200 is the uh, money line as well. So, yeah, I'm double dipping. Yeah, it's, I think that's an easy one. I'm, I'm on USC minus five, minus yeah. 110 uh, as well. It's it's just too – I think Notre Dame stinks, and they've stunk they all year. Looked, Purdue they West. have looked better, though. A they little, started very poorly. They started and they, horribly. They certainly improved when they're playing, you know, mediocre teams. But I think USC is just a different, a different level, unfortunately. Uh, Matt, what's your next one? What's the name of the guy from Franklin and Bash? Played Mark Twitter. Paul Gossler, Scott Back, N- or, no, or yes, Brecken neither Meyer. of those guys. From Franklin and Bash. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm thinking of Scott, I'm thinking you're gonna get a on. We got a tweeter. Scott Con. Scott Con. I because I, I typed in where did Scott. <laughs> I typed in where did Scott Bakula go to college? That's not the guy <laughs> who I meant. <laughs> like you got Quantum actual. Leap. Yes, yeah, the guy from Quantum Leap. Major, yeah, Major League Three. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> underrated. Underrated. The best. But uh, back to the minors. Ahead. Very underrated. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and take a team that's near and dear to my heart that I really like, that I think is going to do good this weekend. <sighs> I forget. I had them. Tennessee, <laughs> minus 14. Uh, I think they're going to win by 21 points. You aren't You aren't afraid that Hendon Hooker tore his ACL? Uh, in the words of Eminem, I'm not afraid <laughs> okay. to take a stand. Everybody, go take my hand. No? <laughs> All yeah, right. It's a famous Eminem uh, song. Never heard I think it. so. Yeah, absolutely. I think um, Rihanna's in that song. No. Maybe not. not that Janelle one. Monet. Janelle Monet. That may maybe more accurate. Uh coming out of Bedlam, Oklahoma State, who got throttled by Oklahoma. Uh, I'm taking them against West Virginia, who's just so bad. Minus eight and a half, minus one ten on Bavada. I think it's an easy one there. Mike, your next one. Uh, yeah, my last pick is just gonna follow the model. Utah minus twenty nine and a half against Colorado. It just hits every week. Oh, I just want like to, yeah. Every week. <laughs> they're they're they've covered I think two games all year, and one was after a coach firing. So that one doesn't technically count. No, that why, is why would it not sure count? count. You, coach bump. Coach bump game. And you always gotta you always gotta take the, the new coach. Don't always have to. Well, <laughs> I guess. If 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 if, if Ole Miss loses Lane Kiffin, we better bring back Matt Luke. He was fired too soon. For Lane Kiffin. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So bring back Matt Luke if, if Lane Kiffin goes. Everyone knows retreading a college football coach that Don't already coached worse. your team is a good – Look at Greg Schiano and Rutgers. He's got the boys buzzing. Mark, what's your next one? Uh, my, next one Penn- <laughs> my next one is uh, – I'm actually going to – we mentioned this game already. Uh, South Carolina had a big win over uh, Tennessee. Cocky top. Um they they are they were a little cocky. I'm taking Clemson. Taking Clemson minus the 14 and a half. Uh Clemson runs that state. You know I'm a Clemson guy. Got to take him in this uh matchup, this rivalry. I just Absolutely. thought of a great marketing campaign. So, Crocs teams up with Tennessee, Crocky Top, and they sell mm-hmm. like an uh, like the checkered um end zone oh. colored Crocs. You don't tell yeah. At the Crocs people, get get to me. We we will make Crocky Top Western Virginia. Where is it? Cut, Tennessee. Cut that part out so it's <laughs> Tennessee. Not yeah, tra- verbal trademark. But do Crocky Top. TM. Just say TM. TM. Cro- dude, Crocky uh-huh. Top is good. That'll sell. I'm or if or, honestly, honestly, if Florida wants it for because an alligator, Crocky Top. Oh. We could do we could do blue ones. We we could do this. We do this. <laughs> we need to get we need to get a meeting with the the people over at Crocs. I like. Does anyone line. you guys know anybody at Crocs? Not off the top of my head. <laughs> I don't um, think there's. How many people do you think work for Crocs? I don't know. It's somebody a, check LinkedIn. That'll probably we can probably get it. Do they have a stock? I'll check. Um, um, you know well, Crocs you look up because up. 
Crocstock? Crocstock. While you look at, while you look at Crocstock, <laughs> I got Louisville plus three minus one ten against Kentucky. I know Kentucky just extended Mark Stoops, but I uh, they they've had a very down year, so I'm going with uh, with Louisville in that matchup. And then TCU minus ten minus one ten, much different animal uh, in their matchup this week. Uh, taking on, I just saw it. I had it right in front of me. Now I'm completely Iowa lost. State. Iowa State. Iowa State, who stinks. Also, seeing Crocs has about around 6,000 employees. Only 37. Yeah. Wow. Only wow. 3,700 of them that are on uh, LinkedIn. Most, if not all, went to UCF, though. $96. In- <laughs> Uh, $96,000 $96 is where they're at in the NASDAQ right now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Financial talk. <laughs> with, Crocs uh, are with... comfy. No, I'm out on Crocs. Ooh. Don't need them. I, I got them. the, I got the... To partner with them. I got the Croc slides and they're very comfortable. You can't tell that they're like regular, you know, Crocs. So no one makes fun of me. Yeah, that's what everyone who swears Crocs says. You can't even tell. They're like really the Crocs, dude. <laughs> like everyone says that, but everyone knows. Want... Birkenstock slides. Those are comfy. Who are you, Dwight Birkenstock? from the office? Yeah, what are you, nah, what are you like, in high school? Nah, they're just like, I'm wearing them. Just, like, Can't see you froze. Matt, those you aren't have... slides. Those are those are clogs. Those are, slippery, slippery. Slippery. Yeah. Those are clogs. They're, they're right. Birkenstock clogs. Nonetheless, they're very comfy. I'm Nonetheless, warm you're a weirdo. School. They're very comfortable. <laughs> Matt, do you have anything else in college football? Yeah, I got one more. All right. What is um, it? I got a pretty good one here. They crushed me last week when I bet UConn. But I'm going to take Massachusetts plus 20, minus 110 over Army. Army took my soul. We had to get – UConn was up. UConn was up. And they were – they actually led the game in the second half and then did not cover the 10.5 point spread. It's a tough one. It was a, It was certainly a tough one. Mike, you're done in college football. Mark, how about you? I'm done in college football. All right, then I will close out college football with – guys. Oh, actually, I have three. Somehow, four – Pitt minus six and a half, minus 110. Nice. Washington in the Apple Cup, minus two, minus 110. And then, fellas, the biggest matchup. The match of the weekend. Sorry, that is, is the biggest one. Oh, yeah, the, the Iron Beavs. Bowl. Well, that is the Iron Bowl, but I'm not in the Iron Bowl. Oh. It is the Beavs, the Ducks. It is the Ducks. Or, so not the Ducks. Jesus wow, Christ. Greg, wow. Freudian slip. Freudian slip. Put wow. the Ducks on my board. Put yeah, the ducks on my board. <laughs> the ducks on his card. That's what he said. I don't want ducks. the ducks on my card. Ducks fly together uh, on our cards. Matt Matt has the ducks minus three, minus 110. I got the beeves plus three, minus 110. And then on that money line on Bovada, plus 130. Go beeves. Bo Nix does not deserve a W in this matchup. He's also kind of hurt, too. So I think that's the good du- for, speak, for you. The yeah. ducks have good vibes, though. The Mighty Ducks Game Changer Season 2. The Today is actually the season finale, I believe. So... No, Neil, it's not the Mighty Ducks. If you're not watching it, dude, season two has been very good. Yeah, that's very good. It's been very funny. The kids are good. The kids are good. The Mighty Ducks. Great actors. Emilio. You know what? Add the Ducks to my card, too, because you're a jerk. Because you're a jerk. You're being a jerk. I'm trying to talk about the Mighty Ducks, big game changers, or whatever it's called. Just game changers. Greg, I'll take the Beavs. I'll ride it. No, no, no. Beavs on my card, Greg. No way. Whatever you took. Whatever, whatever. Get out of here. Taking a two v two. More me and Mike at least double dipping here. We so got I the like USA it. jersey. Oh, you're double, we're double dipping. Oh, okay. we're double dipping, Mike. Uh, see, right. he's adding picks to your cards. He's adding losses to wins. He and said stuff. he was on. What are you talking about? You're off, Greg. <laughs> Listen, all I know is that the 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 Beavs, the guy who you need to look out for upcoming the next few years, Damian Martinez, red shirt freshman, six straight games of 100 plus rushing yards. Jeez. This kid is a Beast waiting to happen. Agreed. Dark Horse Heisman candidate the next couple of years. That's how good this kid is. Agreed with but that. That's, that's the beeves for another day. Let's move on from college football. Let's get into some tennis. I know, Mike, you said you're out on tennis. You, yeah. you didn't have a lot going on. But, uh, Mark, anything, anything good in tennis for you? Uh, I'm, I'm off the tennis court this week. I'm going to save all my losses for soccer, football, and football. Then, then Matt, I'll go to you. Well, if no one else is in tennis, I might as well. I might as well. Might as well get in here. Um, I'm taking. Oh wow, never mind. I was gonna take Eddie Vedder's daughter, Eva Vedder, but I guess not. Um, why don't you go and give me? Well, everyone. Oh, this is all eleven twenty-three. All right, here we go. Give me 
Robin House plus one eighty over Leandro Rietti. And uh anyone see how bad Danielle's house is playing right now? Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> true. true. That's a what good a mean point. person. <laughs> I don't know. Greg said that. I don't even know who that guy is. He's on the sixers. <laughs> News to me. What position? I thought it was a girl. No, he plays Danielle. Him. Is he Canadian? It's Danielle. Oh, Danielle. Yes. Oh, I thought yeah. it was like a Danielle Briere type thing. Who's also not a girl, but he is Canadian. He is Canadian. <laughs> he's a, he's a, he is a Canadian girl. He won the fifty fifty at an Eagles game. <laughs> once. He did. He, he did, did win the fifty. <laughs> like ridiculous that he won the fifty fifty, and he only dated. He only donated like a thousand dollars back. That's not true. That's no, not I think he, true. I think, that's not true. I think they should have repulled it. They yeah. should have repulled it instead of giving it all to charity. Well, that sounds terrible. Wow, Mark <laughs> wants to take money from charity. Jeez. Yes, Mark. I just meant like, it, you know, give it to somebody that else could use it. It's charity both ways, you know? Mark's one of those guys that sells stuff to charity instead of giving <laughs> it. Did you, did you take the money line or did you take the plus three and a half minus oh, 120 at Pavana? Terrible. Plus 180. I think Robin House will uh will get this going. Daniel, Daniel's brother. He just merged the ideas, baby. I'm so mad. Ben Simmons needed three rebounds to get me a triple double, and I would have a hundred dollars, and he did not. Now that you say that, that game I lost. Matt cannot say he's cursed anymore after the game I lost yesterday against. I had a team plus fifteen and a half, Bowling Green and basketball against Notre Dame, and they scored two points the last nine minutes and lost by sixteen against Notre Dame. Why would you ever bet Bowling Green basketball? If you want to say cursed, Matt's not cursed. I'm 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 not gonna lie. When you said Bowling Green, I was I I uh, was watching their football game. You're also I was like, and I was like, they're getting they're getting crushed here. What are we talking about? Ohio's dominant. Ohio's killing them as five and a half point favorites. I got a phone call. I got a I got a phone call from Double B's father laughing in my face. Did he really call you? No, nah, yeah, he did, but he was he was on my side. He felt bad for me because his his sons were laughing in my face. So he reached out. <laughs> Wanted to check in on him, make sure he was okay. Wait, I don't feel bad. I don't I don't feel bad for you. You're not cursed. You you're the same guy that like somehow ends up in a casino and walks out no, with like a horseshoe in his pocket never or something. You walk out with the sign out front because they never enough money to give you. They give you the giant Xfinity LED light. <laughs> Here you go. You're, you're like the luckiest person I know. In in all honesty, get out of here with you're your. You're not curse. even Irish. Yeah. Uh, understandable. You just look like a leprechaun. <laughs> yeah, you just have terrible facial hair. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I mean, it looks, it looks tough. It looks tough. You got to trim it a little. I love bit. how all the comments in the, in the YouTube <laughs> like, yeah, Mike's room <laughs> definitely stinks. Like, <laughs> dirty socks and rotten milk was the most disgusting image that popped into my head that somebody mentioned. But I mean, he pulled, he picked up socks next to him last week, so I, half of it's true. I do have a question though, Mike. I saw on your Instagram earlier this week you posted, "Is it gross to put milk in your coffee?" Okay. Yes. Who on what world would think that would be yeah. gross but milk and coffee? So I had a I had a argument with with one of my friends. Okay. They they said it was gross, but then they tried to make it an argument between uh coffee no what what no what's the milk half and half? Half cream? and half? Yeah, cream or like any or like a it, it was no not sewage? Cream. So no, what water? else? What else do you what? put in your coffee? almond milk? Oat milk? Soy milk? Almond ain't got no titties. <laughs> what are you talking about? Cream? <laughs> half and half? Creamer? Two percent? One percent? Creamer. That's what it is. You already creamer. said creamer. You said, said creamer. creamer. Milk versus Wait, creamer. creamer. <laughs> milk versus creamer. That was the argument. <laughs> but also, they said it was gross to have milk, and I said no, it wasn't. And the my. It won seventy five percent, saying it wasn't gross on my Instagram. Yeah, Who were the twenty five percent? That's what I'm saying. There was like there was like thirty votes, and six people said it was. Do those people not know that creamer and milk are pretty much the same exact thing? It's yeah. six people out of thirty, twenty five percent. No, no. no. <laughs> so. I'm not the best at math, but those numbers ain't numbering. No, no that's not <laughs> nonetheless, it's not gross to put milk in there, and I barely put any milk in there. I just. I'm not a big fan of hot coffee, so when I make coffee out of the Keurig, I just put a little milk in there to make it a little bit cooler. Dog, get a Keurig that makes iced coffee. What do we do? No, probably does that. I just don't. Just wait a couple seconds and let it cool down. 
that's the weirdest. Sometimes I put this was might be gross. Sometimes I just put like cold water in it. I don't know if that's on oh, americano. That's, that's like water gross, down that's the weird. coffee. I don't know. That's weird. Matt, that your issue with the argument. iced coffee Keurig. Yeah, the Keurig like, making iced coffee doesn't work, and it's because it's like, oh, put wa- put ice in your cup, and then it's like, well, it comes out hot, then it melts and dissipates no, all you your ice. To you gotta have, get the. You have to have the Keurig that does the iced coffee set. It comes out hot. No, you don't. No, you gotta doesn't. get the uh, just get the iced coffee thing from uh, Amazon. There's a thing you get. It's got two containers. I, 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 I have, have it. it. I have it. I forget what it's called right now, so Just I apologize to, to the creators. Buy, this giant, buy the Starbucks jug that you can buy. La Colombe sells cold brew and like a wine in the bag type thing, and you can just put that in your in your fridge. I had that for a little bit. I was doing those. I then I, I was I like drinking too thing. much coffee. Well, be, Bob, I drink way too much like, coffee. I drink a lot of iced coffee, but then when I switch to cold brew, I try to drink it like regular iced coffee. Can't do it. It's way stronger. And then like, I'll, but like, the thing is, I'll drink twenty like a venti of it, and then it's like, oh my god, like there's somebody at my house trying to break in. Like my anxiety is so high. Yeah, yeah. The, Been and, there. And and those sweet cream, the sweet cream, salted caramel sweet cream things. Sweet Ooh. creams are made of. <laughs> these. Starbucks is so good. It, Starbucks is so, really good. It's 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 too expensive. But it's Actually, worth every penny. It's worth every penny. So is it too expensive? I guess not. So I it was Red Cup Day the other day at Starbucks, and I I'm ordered like the specialty drink that you had to do to guy. get the Red Cup. I didn't get a Red Cup. I was so annoyed. They didn't give me one of those re- nice reusable Red Cups. Like I just got my Red. I know there's a Starbucks worker listening. Please send me a reusable red cup. I will give you my address, which will actually be Mikey's. But please, <laughs> please send me please a don't reusable. Send anything. But I got one of those like mocha peppermint like things. Yep. Five hundred and ninety calories in that drink. Five hundred and ninety cal. That's more than a croissant. Which you can walk it off. Though. And I had, two, I had two of those that morning. Uh, two croissant sandwiches or the drinks? Sandwiches. I love croissant. <laughs> croissant, which sandwich is the best. I had two of them I, on Sunday morning. Monday I morning. can't tell you the last time I had a croissant, which, but uh, they are they are very underrated. For so sure. underrated. We got to get the double now where it has the bacon and the sausage. Yeah, that seems that seems excessive, but I'll I'll have to give it a shot. Yeah, why don't you go, um, Greg? Run out right now, get croissant, which, and then come and then come back. We'll just wait here for you. There is a Burger King very close to my house. I feel like I could make this happen. But what I'd actually like to make happen is getting into soccer. It is the World Cup. Bovada has lined. We essentially can finish out the group phase today, fellas. That the, the next time we talk, more than likely, it'll be right before the end of the group stage. Um, you know, with, with a couple of, of days to spare. Uh, I'll start with Mark. What do you got? I'm going to start with the uh, the 5 a.m. game tomorrow. I'm going to take Switzerland over Cameroon. Uh, I got Switzerland in a random pool, so I'm really pulling for them. And they're you know a European team. I think European teams typically do well, uh, except Germany today didn't do well against Japan. Actually, never mind. I'm t- I'm just taking <laughs> Switzerland. European teams have not been doing well, so I'm just going to take Japan Switzerland beat anyway. Germany. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Wild well, Germany comeback. was up one nothing too, and they. That's my team. I'm yeah. on. Uh, I'm on Switzerland too in that matchup, Mark. I love the value on Bovada for uh, the minus one thirty five. I'm on so. Cameroon plus four hundred. Hey. There's been Cameroon. And Bizo from the unions on Cameroon. So I'm riding with. I'm riding with him. I'm taking Cameroon plus four hundred. I believe they are the the lowest ranked FIFA FIFA ranking team in the tournament. Was but. it not Costa Rica? I don't think it was Costa Rica. Costa Rica was, is literally part of the Americas. That was a tough. That's Puerto Rico. Yeah. yeah. Geography, man. <laughs> Geography. Green maps. Green maps. I love <laughs> but, but that was that was rough to watch. Um, but yeah, that was bad. I, not if you took Spain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The second the second lowest ranked team was Saudi Arabia, so I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, I have them in a random pool. I woke up thrilled, thrilled that they throttled Lionel Messi and the Argentinians. The game was at I one p.m. Shot to- no, no, it wasn't. And you woke up. It was at five o'clock in the morning. It was in your yeah. It was in your five a.m. parlay, which is also brutal that they put Argentina they at lost. five a.m. and then they had a blues. <laughs> Messi yeah. almost scored that second goal. They came really got did. a lot better players also than than I. They got a few Premier League players on that team too. So I I like that plus four hundred. Cameroon by far the best team in Super Nintendo uh so, the Super Nintendo soccer game. 
They were unbeatable. 94. Uh, I don't know if it was 90. I don't know if it had a date on it. But if you have, actually, if you have a Switch and you download the Super Nintendo thing, there's like a, not an emulator, but kind of, like you, and it'll have a bunch of different Super Nintendo games on there. That soccer game is one of them. So Nice. Yeah. So not only do I have an actual physical copy in my basement of the game <laughs> and a Super Nintendo, I can also play it on the Switch. Switch is which great. Which is cool. Switch is yeah. great. I need to buy one. For sure. I'm Shout talking out about the Will Smith Chris. song. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'll no take a switch. switch. Ooh, no, no, uh, a switch. I, thought, I thought you were talking about Hitch. <laughs> no, good movie, though. Great movie. Heard, I heard <laughs> you guys great movie, me. great song. <laughs> I heard you guys talk Kevin James on your wrongs in Here's Wise House. <laughs> we did not. It was a sarcastic joke and a text message. Um, I'm on Uruguay. Minus 140 against South Korea. One of the fa- <laughs> <laughs> favorites coming into the tournament. I'm on them. Uh, I think, again, more good value at Bavada. Mike? I'm on that as well, Greg. Uh, they still got a lot of talent. Suarez, Cavani. Federico. Yeah, it's like a last run. Valverde. They got a lot of talent. Yeah, Cavani is on that team. Velveeta yeah. is on that team? The cheese <laughs> yeah. guy? I don't, yes. I don't think the cheese Velveeta. guy. <laughs> my, my, yes. Matt, what's your next one in soccer? I'm taking uh, one of the probably the biggest importer of raspberries in the world i'm taking serbia plus one minus 118 <laughs> plus one minus 118 never that's been against that, the serbs that's that's accurate that is that is true that's a tough draw in brazil though to open it up did you but, know that yeah, um close. in america plus one is 115 plus 115 in america there's a place called the pierogi pocket Yes, it's I like know that. four to five states that eat sixty five percent of the pierogies that are eaten in America. Is it yeah. Illinois? Yes, it's it is. uh no, it's, it's New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Ohio, Ohio. Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> Indiana, Chicago, Detroit, and parts of New England. Chicago is not a state; <laughs> it is a city in Illinois, which is what we said, and then yeah. you said no. <laughs> you read it. I don't know what you, it's a TikTok I saw about the pierogi pocket. <laughs> I screenshotted it. <laughs> Chicago is a, a, a huge Polish population. So why makes sense. Why it's not Illinois. Yep. Yeah. Makes sense. That's why it's called Illinois. No, that's well, not Illinois. why it's called oh, Illinois. I thought that's what Greg said. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, they love Polish people. That's why they <laughs> named it Illinois. Like, I thought no, Illinois yeah. was like Polish for something. Jesus people. Christ. It's Polish for people. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a soccer pick? Yeah, Zinegal <laughs> minus 165 over Qatar. I, I think Zinegal is going to be real good right now. So I'm on that pick as well. I'm also on that as well. Zinegalese soccer ends. players. Qatar did not look good. Uh, the tweet that no, came out did. Horrible. The tweet that came out did not look correct. That uh, they, it wasn't correct two minutes into the game when Ecuador no. scored. Time out. That's when it looked correct. That's, That's when it looked correct. very correct. Not That's when I was like, oh, I was like, wait a second. This is real. Yeah. This is real. But then it wasn't. What it was the. About? So <laughs> Ecuador scored th- less than three minutes into the game, but they called offsides in the weirdest way. Honestly, it no, was, was it, it was not offsides, but then like technically it was, but not really. It was because the goalie punched the ball and it hit some other player. And at that time, this guy was off by this much. Yeah, whatever. Uh, it was it was wild. And they called no goal. And then uh, then Ecuador proceeded to just dominate the game. Did the referee make a square? They did. They he did. did one of these guys? No goal. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. <laughs> or they said offside. I, I what guess is VAR? Is. Virtual assistant reality? Referee. Video assistant Vers- referee. Yeah, video assistant ref. But uh, that's that was awesome. But uh, they look terrible. No deal banker like sitting up in like the booth, like giving the help for that, or is it all the referee's choice? No, there's actually a real guy. There's a yeah, there's a guy. There is a guy, and then it it does come down to the ref on the field though, which is interesting. Yeah, the actual decision. The VAR guy, he call he can say, "Yo, ref, you got to take a look at this," and then the ref comes over, looks at it, but he can still decide whether it's a foul. Majority of the time, when he comes over, though, it's going to be. Whatever. Yeah. How do you decide if um how like how do they decide which country gets to referee a game like in the world's like in the championship part of the World Cup? Like how do they pick which country the referees are from? Well, it can't be somebody can't that's be playing. Yeah. yeah. 
Now, how do they, do they all know the same language? Actually, I always wondered how that works. I think they, most of them speak like, like English, English or Spanish. Spanish. Yeah. Um, and then I think actually you can't have refs from the same confederation at the World Cup too. So like you can't uh, have all, like. The, like confed- the confederacy <laughs> went down a while ago, Mark. <laughs> what he's talking about. So oh. like you can't, you can't have like a Brazilian ref in an Argentinian game. My or bad, something yeah. like that, I think, but I don't know. Like, that might be would, wrong. I mean, it, it would, would make sense. sense. USA <laughs> had at least for the first, the two of the referees. USA had a guitar ref as the main ref, and then they had somebody from France as the uh, yeah VAR. So, makes well, sense. speaking of speaking of USA's group, I'm on Wales and Iran to draw plus two twenty five at Bavada. Wow, uh, I'm going with that. Wow. Mike, do you have that? I too? took that as well because that's what USA needs. Either an Iran win or a draw is what they need. So I took it as well. Plus 225. I'm all in on that. Mike, you're, or Matt, your next one. My next one is a good one. It's a doozy. I am taking Senegal plus 165 against Ecuador. I think it's going to be a good game. I think they win that. It's 11:29, Mike. I know you're looking at your calendar. Now I'm looking for my next pick. Mark, give me yours. How far away is your computer? I'm going to take the. Uh, <laughs> I'm taking over two in the Uruguay South Korea game. A lot of fi- firepower. I know we already talked about that game, but a lot of firepower in that game. What's the odds? Uh, minus one thirty six. Minus one thirty six for you. Speaking of the overs, I'm taking the over in the USA England game over two and a half minus one eighteen. I think you. it's going to be uh, back and forth uh. for sure. Hey, I think that's such a bad chant. <laughs> like, <laughs> give, me, give me your next pick, Mike. Uh, yeah, talking about USA. I'm going to take USA plus 460 against England. Plus 460, I. Eh? I mean, they drew last time at the World Cup. Hopefully they, they can draw. win. If they can keep the... Um, it was a unicorn. You okay, I'm going to take cool. USA plus 460. <laughs> plus 460 for you. Mark, your next one. I'm gonna take. Uh, I'm gonna take Japan minus two thirty five. Japan is organized. Uh, they look good. They got the win, and they're also going against Costa Rica now. So a U.S. province. Much, much <laughs> different matchup there. Uh, I'm on Poland taking on Saudi Arabia minus one thirty five at Bavada, and then Belgium. Matt, you mentioned them before uh, versus Morocco. Even money. I'm on them there. Matt, anything else in soccer? Japan, minus 235. Belgium, even money. Croatia, plus 110. Um, this is the games on 11-27. I'm calling it the 5-8-11 parlay, plus 499. So it's the Costa Rica matchup for Japan. Yes. Which is the minus 235. Yes. Right? Uh, Can- Croatia versus Canada. Croatia, plus 110. What was the third one there? Belgium versus Morocco. Yes. I heard Morocco is lovely this time of year. Even money. So you have Japan, Croatia, Belgium, plus five what? Plus 499. Plus 499. $4.99. My, la- my last pick is the USA in that Iran game, minus 125. Matt, uh, Mark, anything else in uh, soccer? Yeah, USA versus Iran is also on my card at minus 125. I'm going to have Poland at minus 135. Uh, Lewandowski, I got, I got to take him to score at minus one fifteen in this game. He's got to get off that Schneid. Uh, I'm gonna take Argentina minus one seventy five against Mexico. Coming out angry. What's Schneid? It's like a bench. Uh, Did we? (laughs) We'll cover it again later. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to get through these picks. I'm gonna take. uh, (laughs) That's a good use, actually. I'm gonna take Canada plus two sixty in their next in their next game. Uh, they look really good. Um, and then I'm also going to take Germany draw no bet at plus 108 against Spain. Spain draw. Are you behind? No you said plus 108. Plus 108. Ugh. 57 minutes in. How many more sports we got to do? Just two. We're almost there. Uh, <laughs> that's true. It's a very it's, – it's a weird week because of the, the Thanksgiving holiday. Got a lot of uh, Mike, Mike, do you have anything else in yeah, soccer? So I What's your gonna... favorite part of Thanksgiving? <laughs> I put it on there. I'm thankful for the listeners. That's Canada, what I'm thankful plus for. Plus 260, obviously, against oh, Croatia. And my there. last pick is Spain plus 140 against Germany on Sunday. 
All right. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. That closes out soccer. We'll get back to that in just a little bit. The second to last major, or I guess really the last major that ends in this calendar year for the darts is this weekend's Players' Championship final. Michael Smith coming off his first major title in the Grand Slam this past Huge. week. 32 first-round matchups <laughs> coming all on Friday. Matt, anything in darts? Yeah, you know where I'm at. Scott Williams, minus 106 over Alan, Alan Sutar. Scott's been good this year. He's a strong lefty from uh, New Zealand, and I think he's going to do good. Incorrect. He has been good. An, a, one of the only, I think one of four non-tour card holders ever to win a tour event. Uh, Did it this season. Suter coming off a long run in the Grand Slam. Shut up. Are you doing this off your head? I'm just telling you. You're not, you're yes, not this I am. This is 100%. I, I can't. I can't <laughs> every like, match. Oh my uh, I, I like can't tell if you're reading I'll run, uh, I'll run through my picks. I'll, I'll, I'll run through my picks Aspinall. really quickly. Aspinall. Aspinall. Is, that a, is that a thing he does? <laughs> no. Ray, Ray kept texting it. I don't know. <laughs> Callan I just ignore those texts. <laughs> so does everybody. Versus Matters Razzle, minus 176. Mike DeDecker, even money against Jim Williams. William O'Connor, plus 125 against Christopher Tyski. Keen Barry plus 120 versus Adrian Lewis. Danny Jansen plus 410 versus Jose De Souza. Steve Beaton plus 110 versus Matt Campbell on Bavada. That's all my picks. Mike, anything in darts? Uh, no, nah, I was going to take Nathan Aspinall, but he was minus 525. That's why I just started singing. Very Coming cool. off a second major appearance, uh, uh, final appearance this oh, year. So. Uh, Mark, I know you don't have anything, so let's just go into it. <laughs> let's go into the NFL. We are in week 12, fellas. And it's third down. <laughs> Classic, Eagles. Always, right. talking <laughs> Always talking football. Always talking Eagles football. Uh, 94 WISP. I'll let you kick it off, Matt. Where are you starting out in the NFL? Are you doing Thanksgiving? Yeah, I think I'm going to go to Thanksgiving, turkey, stuffing. I think I'll be there. I'll take the Bills minus nine and a half. <laughs> wow, I'm on this that guy. Too. Uh, I, I like the, the over. Uh, in the, over. Yeah, I'm taking the over in all three Thursday night games. What? All every Thursday game, I'm taking the over. Um, it's like as a so like each game is gonna go over points. So like Giants Cowboys <laughs> over forty five and a half plus five eighty one. Patriots Vikings over forty two minus one fifteen. Bills, Lions, over 54 and a half, minus 110. There's going to be a lot of points this Thanksgiving. The first one was also minus 110. They're all minus 110. No, no, no Patriots, Patriots is minus Patriots 115. Patriots one is minus 115. Oh, okay. But it's plus 581 all three together. You're doing them all together? Uh, yeah, let's all go to the mall. <laughs> Today. All right. Let's all uh, go to the mall. <laughs> Uh, so all right, Mark, you got any picks on, in football? Yeah, so I'm going to take the over 54 and a half in that Bills Lions game. Bills I'm on that as well. Mark, hold on real quick. What would, what did your parlay pay, Matt? 5,841. It was There's, not 5,000. That's not true. 541 it is. 581. All right, Mark, go ahead. All right, so I, I, I already said the over. Yep. But I'll, I'll, take, I'll take the over, and I'm going to take the Lions plus nine and a half. Ooh. Lions cover on Thanksgiving. They're used to it. Is that oh, true? Is the leading right? I have no idea. Is that true? <laughs> the Lions you are said against, it. against the I gotta spread. I got to have confidence. The Lions are 0 and 18 against the spread in the last 18 Thanksgivings, dating That's back to when the Pilgrims and Indians had lunch. I don't think I don't know that can't be correct either. But I'm on that Bills Lions over 54 and a half and I'm on the uh, the Bills minus nine and a half minus one ten at Bavada. Mike, what do you got? I'm gonna take the Giants plus ten minus one ten at Jerry World. I think that game's gonna be close. I the the Cowboys may win, but I Cowboys smashed the Vikings last weekend. But I think that line's too big. I'm on uh, I'm on that as well. Oh no, I'm on, I'm on the, the Giants, Giants plus ten as well. That's just a big line. I don't think it is. It's a divisional game. Yeah. We know we. I mean, we know this division. It's always a battle. I mean, why didn't we, always, do, we why saw didn't, what happened with the ca Commanders. Yeah. So why didn't we do a Thursday game as the challenge this week? We could do the. We can if you want to do the Vikings. No, nah, we'll just do Sunday night. Way to go, Mike! You ruined it. I feel like we always do Sunday night though. 
No, we can do the Vikings week. Patriots game then. Thanksgiving the is Eagles not game. every week. We don't week. have to do the Eagles game. Some right. people are already we, listening to Christmas music. Have I mean, Christmas trees. I agree. Vikings game. Let's do Vikings. Do you want to just challenge. do two? Do you want to do two challenges or just the one? Two just challenges. Vikings, Patriots because we always everyone's going to pick the Eagles. Last year, did we do? You're not wrong. Last right, year, yeah, I kind of think we may have done every single pick. We did, Mike, and that's why I asked the question. Uh, and yeah. Got berated by Mark. I'm glad you brought it up during the show and not pre. Yeah, it wasn't a berating. I didn't I even know this like was episode 101. <laughs> it is 101. <laughs> oh, Dalmatians. Um, all right, well then let's let's just do oh, the weekly challenge very quickly. We'll do the Patriots, the, do the Patriots Vikings, or do you want to save it for the end? Save it for the end. Save for the All end. right, save it for the end, and let's get into Sunday. Mike, what's your next one? Uh, I yeah, we'll I got a game. Matt's got a game if he wants. All right, I'll take Matt's game. Patriots plus two and a half, even money. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Go ahead, Mike. Uh, uh, Broncos <laughs> minus one thirty against the Panthers. I think their defense can do enough to win that football game, and Sam Darnold starting again for the Panthers. So. Isn't the best stat in the world the fact that if they had just scored 18 points per game, they'd be like 9-1? and one? Yes. Who, the it's Panthers? It's the awesome. Broncos? No, no the, the, Broncos. the Broncos. Yeah, I mean, their defense is incredible. Yeah. If, it's it's absolutely crazy. Let, let, Russ, let Russ cook. What is their record? Uh, four they're and like, five? Yeah, they're, they're very big. Russ is definitely a Blue Apron guy. Did they win last week? They were three and five. <laughs> They lost to the Raiders in overtime. Oh, Adams. Three, yeah, three, yeah, three, three and six. six yeah. Three and six? Three and seven, maybe? I Yikes. got Craig into the fantasy football playoffs by beating. By winning well, there's week. a long way to there's, go. There's, there's still a ways to go. Um, like but I do, appre- I do appreciate it. So uh, I am on the Bucks plus minus three and a half at even money against the Browns. Browns are just really bad and still just waiting for Deshaun Watson. So. I'm on them there. Ma- Mark, what's your next one? I'm also on the on the Bucks. Um is that game at noon or is yeah, that just a one o'clock? All They're all, all the, 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 the times are really they look weird. It's okay. all one o'clock. If it should be one o'clock, it's one o'clock. I got it excited. I like I like the morning games. Uh I've never lived on the West Coast, so I don't know what it's like except when we have these London games and Germany games to wake up to football and I love it. It's really boring once it hits eight o'clock at night because all sports are over. Chris sense. is now talking yeah, about time yeah, zones, guys. I'm all good. right. Nobody can hear him. <laughs> maybe we'll dub his voice zones. in there. Yeah. All right. I like where I'm at. So, so I'm going to take the Bucks minus three and a half. I feel like they're they're going to hit their, uh, not schneid, but they're going to hit their stride here. Mm. That works. Matt, what's your next one? <laughs> oh, no. oh that's well incredible done. well done mike oh for the for the listeners <laughs> producer now chris you... just said who now oh. can't be heard and matt is on mute it's oh, awesome oh no oh no mattcrumpix.com go to youtube press boop on subscribe <laughs> And you can see either. Matt sitting in silence. I'm sure he'll. I'm, I mean, I, I'll go to him. I guess next. He might he fall asleep. Uh, Matt, Mike, what's your next pick? Yeah, I'll go with the Ravens minus four, minus one hundred five against the Jags. Ravens looked bad last week against the Panthers. They need a bounce back game. They're better. They better team than they showed. Uh, I think. I think they smashed the Jaguars. I'm on this pick as well. Ravens minus four, minus one hundred five. Uh, I just. I don't think it's going to be that no, much. I don't think it'll be a contest. Yeah. No. Uh, I'm also on the Titans plus three at minus 120. I think that's a very close game. The Titans keep getting slept on. I I know Jamar Chase might be back for Matt's fantasy team. Uh, I was hoping that would revive him from his slumber, but that is not the case. Uh, so I'm going with the I'm going with the Titans. I'm gonna double dip on the Titans plus three, minus 120, and plus 130. I I, I agree with everything you just said. I think they're getting slept on. The Bengals did look solid last week. Uh, but they also yeah, play the Steelers. Yeah, so. but the Titans, I mean, they just keep running the ball real well with Derrick Henry and Tan Hill's back. I think I think they can win that win that football game at home. Easily. Yeah. Matt, anything. <laughs> He's ripping <laughs> his mouth. He's not muted anymore, which makes it very funny. Oh, uh, well, I guess not. Mark, what's the next? Uh, I'm going to take the Falcons plus four and a half against the Commanders. I, I don't know. I, I I don't buy into the Commanders being that good of a team. I know they're on a little bit of a win streak with Heineke right now, uh, but I don't know. I, I think the Falcons cover a lot, so give me them plus four and a half, minus 110. 
The Jets make a big change at quarterback. Mike White starting against the Bears. I think the Jets absolutely smash here. The Bears offense thinks Justin Fields. Justin Fields may not play. I'm going Jets minus six, minus 110 on Bovada. Matt. I'm breaking my streak. What about Flacco? My mute, <laughs> my mute strike is over since Chris muted me. <laughs> Do you have any picks? Where's Flacco? Sunday? He's not playing. He's, I, he's not playing. It's Mike White. Yeah. It is Never. Mike White. Never he's electric. Give me the Jets. Mike White was awesome last year when he started until he got hurt, right? That happened. You're thinking so, of the guy from Penn State. No, that never happens. Um, no, he, he is right. He wasn't awesome in every game. He, did he had that like 400-yard game that he was the player. Yeah, he was sweet. Was um, one week. He did have bad games, too. It was but, one uh, week that he had that really, really, really good week. Yeah, I'm going to yeah, transition to another quarterback swap. Quarterback swap. Quarterback swap. Quarterback swap. Quarterback swap. <laughs> <laughs> cool. I'm going to I'm going to go to the uh, Dolphins. Dolphins. Yeah. They're going up against the Texans. Texans made a quarterback swap. I don't know why. I don't think Mills has been that bad. I think that team is just bad. Who's their quarterback swap? Uh, I don't know who they even Kyle Allen. Paul Wolf. Allen? Ky, no, his cousin Kyle. B- B-ball Paul. Cousin Kyle. B-ball Paul has looked good. Yeah, he not, real not well good. the other day. Not yeah. good. Yesterday I didn't watch tonight. All right, well, Matt, Daniel Hunt hasn't that. scored a point I'm in a week. On, I'm on. I'm <laughs> on the Dolphins minus. I'm on the Dolphins minus thirteen and a half as well. Matt, give me a couple of your picks, please. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna I throw it to no- you. And Mark started talking. Okay. I'll do it again. I was. I was <laughs> Mark, that was your cue. I guess I ended it. Do it again. But God. this guy. All right, no, but I'm taking the Niners minus nine and a half, just because I love that Nick Bosa video that's gone viral where he's like mic'd up and he's sitting there so casual and he's like, I'm just trying to sack the quarterback, dude. Like it's all I'm trying to do. Like <laughs> He's just like such a monotone, casual voice. So I'm all in on that guy. Uh, go ahead and give me the dolphins money line minus 800 over the Texans. Um, I'll also take the Cincinnati Bengals minus 150 over the Titans. I'm also going to take the Baltimore Ravens minus 200 over the Jags. And I'm going to go Ravens, Bengals, money line parlay for plus 150. Plus 150 for you there. I'm, I already mentioned I'm on that Dolphins pick. Uh, I'm also on the 49ers minus nine and a half at minus 110. Uh, the Chargers minus three, minus 110. Bounce back game. The Cardinals are horrible. Mike, what's your next one? I'm on that Chargers pick as well. They battled the last two weeks. They just got to play all four quarters. They've been stinky in the second half. I'm going to take the Steelers plus two and a half, minus 110 on Monday night uh, against the Colts. And then my last pick is Dolphins, Cardinals under 47 and a half, minus 110. Dolphins, Cardinals don't play. What? Texans. Do you Cardinals, mean Texans? Texans. Or do you mean 49ers? Or 49ers. How far is Dolphins. your computer? Dolphins, it's <laughs> over here. So I sit back, so I'm not so close to my camera. So I got to reach over here. It is Dolphins, Texans, not Dolphins, sit Cardinals. Sit back, relax. I wrote uh, down the Cardinals, though. I'm on my, my last pick. I actually have two picks. I'm on the Colts in that Monday night game, minus two and a half, minus 110 on Bovada. Uh, Mark, anything else in the NFL? Are we not doing the challenge for Sunday night? No. We're not going to do the challenge for Sunday night. All right, then I'm taking the birds minus seven at minus 105. I'm also on that, minus 105. Matt, anything else? Yeah, New Year's Eve, I got Bills to minus 230 over the Patriots. Actually, it's New Year's Day. No, don't it's write, New Year's don't Eve. Don't write that down. I'm, I'm wor- what? Also, it's 12-1, I mean, not 1-1. One, one. Never mind. <laughs> it's <laughs> next a, Thursday. It's a Thursday game. That's uh, Mark's specialty Thursday game. I'll give you I'll give you that next week. All right, um, Mike, you're good on yep. the NFL. Yep. Uh, then we'll do the weekly challenge. We are going to do the Thursday night game for Thanksgiving. It is the New England Patriots taking on the Minnesota Vikings. The Vikings are minus two and a half on Bovada. Uh, Mark, uh, well, it's a three way tie at the top, so I'll let Mark go first. All right, I'm going to do the uh, I'm going to double dip on the Patriots. Uh, add them to my card. I don't know what's going on with the Vikings last week, but uh, Kirk in prime time. That's yeah, it. That's it. I, I don't agree. know who's next, but that's all I got. <laughs> all right. That, that works. So you have the Patriots plus two and a half at even money and the Patriots plus 125 and then the Patriots for the challenge. Matt. Yeah. 
Big one Thursday night. This one everyone's sitting in their Lululemon sweatpants. Chris, did you get yours? Did you like them? I don't know. He didn't answer. Okay. He's not allowed to talk, turns out. Um, I will take the New England Patriots to lose that game. And it's going to be Vikings minus two and a half, minus 120. Kirk Cousins gets it together, and uh, it's going to be okay in Minnesota. All right. A lot of points in that that game, though. Do you want it on your card, too? You know what, Greg? Go ahead. Throw it on my card. Sounds good. I'm going with the Patriots. I'm on the mark thing. I'm double dipping. Patriots plus two and a half, even money. Patriots plus 125 on the money line. Both of those on the card and Patriots for the challenge. Mike, finish it off. I'm going to double dip on the Vikings. Patriots can't move the football. Patriots minus two and a half, minus 120, and minus 145. You mean the Vikings? Vikings, sorry. You can't talk or read. One of the two. (laughs) <laughs> and I was trying to make a – yeah, no, it was bad. <laughs> Nonetheless, Vikings last week was an anomaly. That's not what It very well could have been. Yeah. All right, fellas, fun week. We move along. 99 more episodes until episode 200. YouTube.com slash TheUnderdog. MacronPicks.com. Find us on Twitter. Enjoy the World Cup. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Thank you to everybody for listening. Let's go win some bets.